Namibia's elections don't offer much in the way of suspense. The ruling party Swapo is expected to win just as it has in every election since Namibia's independence from South Africa in 1990. But this time it's vowed to put half of party and parliamentary posts in the hands of women under a so-called zebra system, meaning one woman for every man. The country's foreign minister has been pushing for a 50-50 gender split ever since independence. From the first parliament to the second parliament to the third parliament, we have been increasing the number of women. But I must tell you, the current parliament, we went down. I was disappointed. And that is where we really became more aggressive to campaign or to sensitize our members that unless we make it an obligation, we might end up that the next elections, where we might even go down further. So that is why this time I'm very happy. 25 of the 72 members of the Namibian parliament are women. That number should rise after the election, though many sitting male MPs could still keep their seats as the ruling parties expanded the National Assembly to 96. But for Rosa Namises, a long-time feminist and politician, the decision has come too late. It is surprising that after so many years, um, four months or so ago, Swapo has been calling for 50-50 just before elections. For me, it is a vote-buying tool. Single mother of four, Gradula Nashima, will vote for Swapo again this time, but she wants to see change. Her days are spent making kapana, slices of grilled meat out of cow's heads. She would like to see more women in power, but only if it means more interest from politicians in her problems. Poor housing and roads and a lack of electricity and water. I would like to see a woman president one day and more women in the parliament and in the government because I want them to come here and see how we work and then represent us, represent our work and our struggle to survive working like this. For some, the zebra system is just another way for Swapo to consolidate its grip on power. For others, it's at least a step in the right direction, as long as the newcomers feel free to make change and not simply continue with the status quo.